Hi everyone. I've had several requests asking that I show in Design Space how I prepare a Cricut coaster project to use with sublimation. So I hope you're going to find this video helpful. I'm in Design Space and I've selected this coaster project just to show you how I would set it up for sublimation or use it as is for infusible ink. If you go to Projects and search for Coaster, you'll find a big selection of coasters that have already been designed by Cricut. They're really pretty and it's hard to choose which one. I went with this Geometric Coaster. So let's go back to the canvas. When they came into Design Space, I checked the size I prefer to use 3.5 inch for coasters. Even 3.4 works really, really well. They fit nicely on Cricut coasters. So the way these coasters come in, they're optimized for infusible ink sheets. You can see that the negative is cut out. There's nothing behind the design. And it's set up that way so that when you cut your sheets on your machine, on your Maker or Explore, you just pull out the negative pieces and you're all ready to press just the part that you want with color. If I right click, you can see that there's no option to flatten the project because you need to flatten it onto a background. So in that case, I'm just going to, it's so easy to do. I'm just going to take a circle. I'm going to change it to white. You can use another color if you want to print a colored background, but let's say I want to use white. I'm going to change it to 3.5 inch so that it fits perfectly behind the color. I'm going to take my coaster, send it to the front, and bring it over on top of my base that I've created. Select both together, align and center. And now when I right click, you can see that I can flatten. And that's all there is to it. So let's hide these that we're not using. I'm not actually going to cut any of these today. Okay, so let's say we're going to print that coaster. We'll click make it. I make a habit of using mirror on all my infusible or sublimation projects, even if they don't include text or a directional pattern. It's a good habit to have whenever you're using infusible ink or sublimation. So we'll click continue. In this case, I'm going to use my maker to cut this circle out because I want it to be a perfect circle. I could try and do it by hand, but it's so much easier to let it go to your Cricut machine to cut it perfectly. I'm going to choose the printer that I use for sublimation. And in this case, because I'm going to have my Cricut machine cut out the circle, I want to leave my bleed on. If I was cutting this, just trimming off the black registration mark and cutting out by hand, I would turn off the bleed. I'm going to select Use System Dialog once again to set up my best printer features. We'll press Print. I'll go to Layout and I'm going to select Print Settings. As I did with the t-shirt in the last video, I'm going to choose Premium Presentation Paper Matte and I'm going to select High Quality. So I'm going to stop there because I don't want to actually print and cut this coaster pattern. In the next video, I'm going to prepare a set of photo coasters. I think will be really fun. So watch for that video coming soon. I hope this video will help you create beautiful coaster sets with Cricut infusible ink or sublimation. Thank you for watching.